When Sarah Ferguson married Prince Andrew at Westminster Abbey in 1986, she chose to tie a teddy bear to the back of their horse-driven honeymoon carriage Richard Barber, former editor of OK! magazine, said in 1996, from that moment we knew we were in trouble and it was all going to go wrong It was a question of there's a good sport, and then there's Fergie. Royal Fury, how the Queen summoned Prince Edward over unfair Agus. Royal Feud, how Prince Edward fumed about Sarah Ferguson making a. However, it was when the Duchess, otherwise known as Fergie came under the fiercest fire from the old style establishment that she was often at her best. One example is when the Queen's former private secretary Lord Charteris said of her, she is simply a vulgarian In a 1995 interview with The Spectator, he added, she is vulgar, 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 and that is that It is believed her vulgar fashion choices colored the public perception of her in the early days of her marriage Fergie has long been seen as a rebel and, during the peak years of her public exposure, she was cast into the fashion shadow of Princess Diana TV presenter Lorraine Kelly wrote in a 2016 article for the Sunday Post, when she married Andrew, she had the misfortune to be compared to the elegant Princess Diana Ms. Kelly added, she's her own worst enemy and has made many mistakes, but at least she admits her flaws Sadly over the years she has pushed the self-destruct button once too often and has become a figure of fun and even ridicule Royal biographer Ingrid Seward wrote in her book Prince Edward, a biography that it came down to a matter of style Ms. Seward wrote in the 1995 book, there was hardly any difference between the Princess of Wales and the Duchess of York Diana somehow managed to remain above criticism, Sarah was unable to avoid it, 